Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to explain to you step by step why multiplying numbers by drawing lines actually works. We're going to explain in detail why this somewhat magical diagram of 12 by 13 equals 156, what this actually represents, and why this actually works. We'll start out with some simple examples. Let's say you wanted to do 2 times 1. So we'll draw two lines, and in the other direction we have one line. We count the dots, and we get two dots, and two times one is two. If we wanted to do two times two, we'll put one more line, and we'll get four dots. Continuing the pattern, when we have two times three, we draw one more line, and that gives us 6. The point of this is that each time we have another number, every new line leads to two more dots. And this is exactly the process of multiplying by 2. So if we wanted to multiply any number by 2, we could have we could put place that many number of lines in the other direction and count up the number of dots. We'll illustrate this with 2 times 13. We'll have two lines for the 2 and now we'll place 13 lines in the other direction. If you count these dots there will be 26 dots and 2 times 13 is 26. This example demonstrates that when you multiply by lines it will become cumbersome to keep using a lot, you know, one line for each number. So if we have 13, the number 13, it already looks messy that we have 13 different lines or 13 sticks for the number 13. So we're going to need a way to do this faster. And that's pretty much what multiplying by lines is. So the trick we're going to use is we're going to group 10 of these lines or 10 of these sticks into a bundle. You can imagine if you have 10 different sticks, you put them in a bundle and wrap them with a wire or a string. So we're going to take 10 of these lines and we'll group them as one line. So this one big green line, this thick green line, really represents 10 of the lines from the number 13. Now we're going to count the dots. For the small dots, we already have six points, six dots. And now we need to count these two intersections, these two dots. Because that big green line represents 10 different lines, each intersection is 10. So this is 10 dots here. This is really like 10 dots. And this is really 10 dots here. So 10 plus 10 is 20. And when we add that to the 6, we have 26. So we can do 2 times 13. Instead of having 13 different lines, we can have one line for the 1, a big line, representing 10 of the, of the lines. And we'll have 3 of the regular lines. So I hope you understand how this example works because now we're going to go to a more advanced method and we're going to imagine doing 12 by 13. So what we could do for 12 is in addition to the two lines we already have, we could add 10 more lines. And if we go through and count all the dots, we will get the answer. But just as before, we're going to group these 10 lines into a single bundle and we're going to make it one thick line and this thick line is really 10 lines so when we count the intersections we're going to have to remember it's 10 lines now we'll start counting the number of dots as before we have six dots here on the right we've created three intersections between a thin line and the 10 line which gives us 10 each time so in the middle, we have 10 plus 10 plus, on the bottom, 10 plus 10, which makes for 50. If 
Finally, we have the intersection of two 10 lines. So if you were to draw out 10 different lines and then draw another 10 different lines, the number you're going to get out, the number of dots will be 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 is 100. So the intersection of two 10 lines is 100. Now we simply add up all the different numbers because the whole point of multiplication by lines is to count up the number of dots. So on the left we have 100 dots, in the middle we have 50 dots, and on the right we have 6. So 100 plus 50 plus 6 is 156. And that's the essence of multiplying by lines. But when you do this operation over and over again, you don't need to draw out all the different details we put in this diagram. We can, in fact, leave out some of the details just because we do this over and over again. We'll understand what the different lines mean. So the first thing we can do is we can remove the labels on the 10. We will just keep in mind that the intersection of a thick line and a thin line is 10. The next thing we can do is we can get rid of these zeros because every time we do this in the middle we're going to have an extra zero and on the left side we're going to have two zeros. Then we can go ahead and make these green lines thinner because we can just say that we don't really need to draw them as a thick line. We've already spaced them away from the other lines so we know that these lines which although we draw them as thin lines we know they really count for 10. Then we can go ahead and remove these zeros because it will always be the case that those zeros will be there. We can group up the numbers and we can just change the colors back to black. So this is the original picture we have of how 12 times 13 equals 156 and now you know where it comes from. Those first lines we draw are actually 10 lines and then when we have the spacing we have individual one lines and the reason we can get the digits just by the vertical alignment is uh, the way we space the lines works that way. So now you understand how multiplying by line works. The summary of this is that when you multiply two whole numbers that's the same as counting the number of dots of intersection between them. For bigger numbers, there are going to be lots of dots to count, and multiplying by lines is a shorthand to count hundreds or even thousands of dots very quickly. In two-digit numbers, we group lines of tens as a bundle, and in three-digit numbers or higher numbers, we keep bundling powers of ten. And we end up with the vertical alignment, which gives us the answers to our final number. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, or get my ebooks at Amazon.